Just one day I said, I'm going to make a cigar box guitar like the old blues guys did. And man, everybody thought it was cool. So I just kept making them. And here we are. I got to be excited about the box. The box has to be cool. And I've got a pile of boxes. So I just go through them and I say, ooh, I like that. And then I just grab a piece of oak and shape it and sand it and cut it. Grab some hinges and plumbing parts and really that's it. I mean a piece of oak for a neck and a box and then turn them into a guitar and bring them to life. Don't let nobody tear my barrel house down. This just goes back to the beginning of those earliest blues guys with their knife or a bottle on the strings and going for it. And they would make them out of anything. They'd use a broom handle and a cigar box and make guitars. But it just has that sound. When you hear slide, it's like a voice. And whenever you hear it, you're like, oh, that's that sound. I love that. You could make them with six, but I think three strings is kind of the traditional way. And it's tuned to an open G chord. Take your slide. You got a C chord a D chord and your G chord. So you got your you know why would you need any more than three? Three chords, three strings, you're good to go. That's Robert Johnson on the back done by one of my guitar students. Really cool. People come over for guitar lessons or whatnot and they see them and I sold probably half a dozen just from people coming over and seeing them. And some people buy them for gifts, some people that don't even play buy them to hang them on their wall. Every single box is different, so they all sound different. So every time you string one up, that's the fun part is, you know, seeing what it's going to sound like. And we'll see what this is going to sound like in just a second. Sounds pretty cool. There it is.